folks. I'm here with Hedwig again today. Uh, I said on my last video with Hedwig that um, I thought that a Spin Master would probably bring out a how-to video and they have done. Uh, going to sleep. And they have done, they brought out a um, how-to video uh, a week ago. So the first thing I noticed in the how-to video was that they said that um, Hedwig had two petting centres. So I was surprised at this because I thought she only had one on the back of her head. Um, but they said she's got one on the front and showed the child sort of stroking Hedwig like this. So I'll just wake her up. Now, I can't get any reaction at all. So I've start, tried stroking her lightly, as in the video. And there's no reaction because Hedwig does that noise um, when you're not interacting with her. But there's no reaction there, none, none at all. So uh, I tried holding my hand on it in case you have to hold your hand on the sensor. Um, I've tried sort of stroking harder. Uh, nothing, not, there's just no reaction at all. So I don't know why that is. Have I got a defective owl? I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's just no reaction whatsoever there at all. So another thing in the video was showing um, how Hedwig uh, responds in a negative way to you stroking her feathers uh -huh. or fur uh, the wrong way. Now I couldn't get this to work and Paul couldn't get to work at first but then you suddenly got it to work didn't you Paul? Mm. So uh, let's see if we can get on film. Okay. That, that, that's never right, that. Yeah. There, I've just done it. Oh, well. <laughs> 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 She's falling over. So that's putting Hedwig in a bad mood by stroking uh, fur the wrong way. Um, Paul was trying to do it for ages and... Uh, he couldn't do it this time, so I took over and uh, yeah, managed to do it. So it's a bit awkward, but um, you can get her to do it. So if you're patient, you can get her to go into a bad mood, stroking her hair the wrong way. So another thing that was covered in the video was um, how Hedwig doesn't like you to um, speak to her too loudly that that makes her um, give an angry reaction. So you put Hedwig into listening mode by holding the back of her head. And if you talk to her softly, she'll um, respond with sort of happy noises. But supposedly if you shout at her, then uh, she doesn't like it and she gives angry and she'll make angry noises. Now we tried shouting at her and it uh, didn't work. She was still quite happy and giving happy noises. But I found that if my clever keats are too noisy, when you put her into listening mode, she will uh, give angry noises back. So uh, first of all, I will um, show Hedwig uh, listening to the clever keats and giving happy noises back and then when the clever keats get a little bit too noisy she will give angry noises in response
also, I've got Roscoe on the dancing perch as well now, so they're being more noisy. Hedwig has been performing well the don't doesn't appear to be uh, the touch sensors don't appear to work as indicated in, in the spin master video the chest, yeah the chest. Seem, well just go into the chest first yeah the chest touch touch sensor doesn't work for us and I noticed in the, their own video the, the young lassie who was stroking the chest didn't get a response out of Hedwig anyway so it's like, <laughs> I didn't is, do is, anything. is there a chest touch sensor there or perhaps if there is it's not been the, the program is not being done properly for it um and then you were saying about the sensors not really working as they did in the video mm -hmm. um that's uh in the sense that um you can get hedwig to do the things that they say the hedwig does oh she's in a bad mood i wonder why so so have you stroking her hair backwards, for instance? Yes. So stroking her hair backwards. It, it's very, very difficult to put her into a bad mood by stroking her it, hair backwards. It's like you've got to do it... You a certain way. You, yeah. yeah. You oh, haven't oh. just to stroke her hair backwards. You've mm. got to do it in this very precise way that's difficult to on, pinpoint. On our head wig. On our been, head wig. We don't know if that's the same across. I would think it probably is. But other I people think it's seem to have had difficulty, yeah. I think it's something to do with the program and the way that I mean touch sensors have got to be looked at quite quickly in the programming and maybe there's something wrong or a bit clunky in the programming, a bit flaky and it's just not picking up the, the backward stroke action like this. Mm. Or it's only picking it up say one time out of thirty. Yeah. Because yeah. the program is not very good. Mm. And then um when I I was petting Hepwig uh, this is on an earlier video to get Hedwig to um, purr mm -hmm. so that um, you can, she will accept the envelope and, yeah. and uh, not, not hiss at you when, mm -hmm. when you know, she delivers the, the letter. Yeah. Uh, that took absolutely ages, didn't it? So that's it did, the yeah. same thing again. Mm -hmm. It's like taking ages mm -hmm. before you get the response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You had to stroke about 30 times. Oh, well. it? It yeah, mood. yeah. And then um, the other thing about um, shouting at Hedwig. Oh, now, yeah. you said it could be that if a child shouts, maybe it responds better. Yeah, a child's oh, well. voice has got higher pitches in it than in comparison to an adult, mm. hasn't it? High frequencies, and uh, it might respond better to those because... As adults, you bellowing in Hedwig's face has not evoked the response, no. has it? But when but, you but put the... Hedwig by these little um, clever keats, clever keats by Spin Master, mm -hmm. uh, the noise they make is a much much higher frequency, but it's nowhere near as loud as we were bellowing in Hedwig's yeah, face. Yeah. But that so, seems to so maybe it. it is going on frequency, maybe, and not yeah, just yeah. like mm. decibels. Yeah, maybe it would be easier for a child to put yeah. Hedwig in a, in yeah. a bad mood. Maybe. We don't know. We don't know because there's no videos at the moment of. Uh, of people's headwigs so that, that, that pretty much sums it up doesn't it mm. that um things don't seem to be working as quickly as you would expect the yeah. response you need taking a lot of effort yeah it's a sort of luck isn't it getting it right mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. see she even agrees mm -hmm. so folks that concludes this video um have you got any thoughts on this or have you got a head wig and you found any anything different about it you're welcome to uh, comment um i will be back with Hedwig in the future because i'm thinking they're doing some mods aren't i paul oh yes yes yeah, some customizations on Hedwig. feet but, and eyes isn't it yes feet and eyes uh, so yeah, she'll be back, and she'll also be in the aviary as well. Ah, yes, because we're the making other birds. a robotic bird yes, aviary. Yes, uh, but that's it for this video, folks. Hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.